If you ever wanted to drive a modded C8, well, today's your lucky day because you're gonna be getting an entire point of view driving experience of the C8 that I've got totally modded out. I'm probably gonna do some other mods in the future, but you're just gonna be able to kind of get the experience with what it's like right now. Um, if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. I've got lots more content coming out your way. And, you know, I'm thinking about getting another car for the channel at some point in the future. So if you've got some ideas, let me know. I'm still really in love with the AMG GTR. Uh, I drove a modded one of those with a Rentec tune um, a year and a bit ago, and I still cannot get my mind off of that car. So if you guys have got any other better ideas than that, just let me know. You know, the Ram TRX is up there for me, but that's a totally different thing. So let me know what your guys' thoughts are. And there's going to be more content coming soon with a Porsche Macan, and I'm going to be getting some shots of that and some driving experiences with that thing. So without further ado, let's just do a walk around of the car because it just looks too good right now. Till I get up Time is barely on my side I don't wanna waste what's left The storms we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, No, I don't wanna waste what's left And on and on We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways you know, one thing I really want to do next is take it to the track, right? I've got all these mods done to it. I want to really see what it can do and push it to its limits. Um, haven't taken it to the track. I mean, I drive it fairly hard. I think these tires are still good. I actually had to get this one replaced not that long ago because a nail got stuck in it, which is just great. So, yeah, I'd really love to take it to the track, see how it performs. I mean, shoot, it just looks so good. I can't get over it. I've had this car for a year and a half. It's getting close, no, not even, like a year and a half maybe. And it still just blows me away. It's crazy that this is a Corvette if you think about it. Like, they all not, they didn't used to be mid-engine. None of them were. None of these cars were mid-engine. And now they are and it's just completely changed the game for them. These cars are crazy. I noticed this on a Z06 video. The space when you're turning the wheel between the tire and the wheel well is like tiny. And I think it's even smaller with the Z06. It's crazy how they engineered this car. It's, it's super cool. I'm gonna get some just straight revs in with this car because I haven't been able to do a ton of that on camera because I haven't been able to set a ton aside for filming like in a separate location like this. I'm usually, usually doing it just like at my garage or like when I'm out. So I haven't had a really good chance to just actually get this thing really revving it out and really hearing how it sounds. Let me know how you think it sounds. Rate it out of 10, I guess. And then just as a heads up, I'm going to be putting it in track mode, everything turned off, everything dialed up to the max um, to see how it sounds like. So this is like in its rawest form. Let's, let's see what it does. Okay, that, I have literally not been able to do that since I got the car modded, just because I just haven't been in a good spot to be able to do that. And that was insane. All the doors and windows were down too, or at least all the doors were open, so I really got to hear it as well. Whew, that was crazy. This is my first like real supercar that I've owned. I mean, I would really consider it a supercar. Maybe I'm not the right person to be asking. Before this, I owned a Cadillac CT4V. That was pretty cool, not a supercar. Um, before that, I had a Kia Stinger. And then before that, I just had like a 2005 just stick shift random Kia Spectra. So like definitely nothing crazy at all. I would consider it a super supercar. Am I the right person to be asking? I don't know because it's like my first real like sports or supercar. Um, I have driven an AMG GTR. Camaro ZL11 LE um, and a couple of other things here and there. This just feels so different. When I was initially getting this car, it was between this and an AMG GTR. That AMG GTR that I drove was actually modded. It had a Rentec tune, downpipes, and I think that's it. 
maybe headers, I, I don't know, but definitely for sure, Rentec tune and downpipes. That thing was crazy. Drove that one and then I went and found this and I drove it maybe a day or two later. And this is just a completely different driving experience. The AMG GTR definitely felt a little bit more raw. This feels more refined. Um, that thing just felt like a truck driving on the road, even though it was it was not, it wasn't huge. Um, but it was crazy, but this felt so much more refined. It felt a lot more supercar-esque, whereas the AMG GTR, it was still a supercar, but it was just a monster. So a little bit different, but I think with the mods that I've added on here, it has really lightened this thing up and or open this thing up and it's just completely transformed it so that is it's pretty crazy i think it sounds insane let's just do it one more time one more time i'm gonna do it one more time i'm gonna rev it and then i'll be done <laughs> and then i'll get a little bit of driving shots and then i think i should be good and let me know next time i'm probably gonna do this down by the beach i was thinking of doing that this time but uh, i don't have enough time to go down there even though it's like 30 minutes away so I'm gonna rev it out one more time and then I think I'll be happy. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done, that's enough for now. <laughs> Before I take this thing out for a spin, you guys get that POV um, driving action. Um, I'm gonna take you through some of the modes and stuff because I actually haven't done that before for people on my channel and some of you guys may know, but I think it's interesting. So I'm gonna work backwards. You've got track mode, you've got sport, and you see how everything changes the dash. It changes how the exhaust sounds, changes the suspension, steering, braking, all that good stuff. So you got sport, you got tour, which is basically just like comfort mode. You've then got my mode, which is customized to however you want things to be, so you can tweak things up a little bit, change them um, so they match how you want everything to look like. And then you've got weather mode, so if it's wet, raining, snowing, you got this as well. Now, a couple of extra uh, tricks here. If you are in sport mode and you double tap the traction control off button, um, well, first off, if you press it once, it's just gonna turn traction control off, right? Now, if you double tap it, it actually goes into this other mode, competitive racing mode or competitive mode, um, and it turns everything, makes it a little bit different. I've heard that this is good for zero to 60 times. You can actually time everything within the car right here. I've heard that it's useful for that. I'm not sure. Um, I don't, I'm gonna try to do a zero to 60 right now. I don't know which one I'll try, um, but there's that. And then if you actually flip it into track mode, you actually have more options when it comes to traction control. So double tap the traction control twice, and what'll come up is you have performance traction management. So from there, you can actually change a couple of things. You can do wet, dry, sport one, sport two, and race mode. And that's basically the highest mode you can get. You do that by changing this little like crown thing right here. And so race is the top of the line like the biggest thing, the most turned off thing you can do. I think when I hit like a 2.8, zero to 60 or a 2.7, I believe was one of my quickest. Um, I did it in PTM race and maybe I did it in sport too when I hit 2.9. So I'm not sure, I trust this a little bit more than the competitive mode and I actually need to read up on what the difference is <laughs> and I haven't since owning it, um, but there's that. And then another really cool feature is over here now, um, you've got PDR, which is Performance Data Recorder. So you go ahead and tap that. As long as you have an SD card put in, you can then choose and you can actually record everything that's going on. So, you know, you can choose your video overlay, sport, track, and timing. I think I actually have a crack on my front camera up there, so that doesn't make it ideal. I um, actually need to get that fixed, but there's what sport looks like, track looks like this, a little bit different. And then timing, I believe it times all your key uh, kind of performance times. So you zero to 60, zero to 100, quarter mile, zero, 100, zero. Super cool stuff. So that's everything there. What I'm gonna do is try to do a little bit of point of view driving or 
probably do a quick zero to 60 and that'll be that really simple video today. I just wanted to give you guys this experience, um, let you guys hear the thing, just my car really opened up because I haven't had a chance to do that. And yeah, let's just get right into it. If you guys like this kind of stuff and want to see more of it, let me know, like, and subscribe. I tried to manage the throttle there a little bit more. I don't think it helped. I got 3.4, zero to 60 it looks like. It's on PTM race. I've definitely gotten better times by just mashing the, was mashing the throttle, but that's okay. We will do more of that another time. <laughs> 